here the question is a b and c are partners in partnership sharing profits and losses in the ratio 5 is to 4 is to 1 two new partners b d and e admitted the profits are now to be shared in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 2 is to 2 is to 1 respectively that means old ratio and new ratio are given both D is to pay 90,000 for the share of a goodwill, but E has insufficient cash to pay for goodwill. Both the pa new partners introduced 1,20,000 rupees each as their capital. You are required to pass necessary journal entries. Answer 38. Working notes. Old ratio of A is to B is to C is equal to 5 is to 4 is to 1. New ratio of A is to B is to C is to D is to E is equal to 3 is to 4 is to 2 is to 2 is to 1. Sacrificing ratio, old ratio minus new ratio. A sacrifice, old share minus new share. 5 upon 10 minus 3 upon 12 that is LCM 60. 30 minus 15 is equal to 15 by 60. B sacrifice, B old share minus new share. 4 by 10 is the old share minus new share is 4 by 12. The LCM is 60, 24 minus 20 is equal to 4 upon 60. C sacrifice, old share minus new share, 1 upon 10 minus 2 upon 12, that is equal to LCM 60. 6 minus 10 is equal to minus 4 by 60. This means C is gaining. It is gain. Gain means C has to be debit. C's capital account has to be debited for goodwill. And uh, A and B's capital are to be credited for good, goodwill because they are sacrificing. Now, Sacrificing ratio of A is to B is equal to 15 is to 4. And this share of goodwill for 212 share, as he is paying rupees 90,000 as a premium of a goodwill. Hence, goodwill of the firm will be, according to this contribution, will be reverse of rupees 90,000 multiplied by 10 by 2, 12 by 2. That is rupees 5 lakh 40,000. E share of goodwill which he could not contribute that is rupees 5 lakh 40,000 is the valuation for goodwill for the whole farm and 1 by 12 is his new share hence E share of goodwill premium is rupees 4 lakh is rupees 45,000 which he could not contribute for goodwill. Next one is C share of goodwill for his gain is to be given to A and B that is equal to rupees 5 lakh 40,000 multiplied by 4 upon 60. 4 upon 60 means C share of a gain that is rupees 36,000. Hence, fair notes, draw the journal format. There is no debt. Cash account debited rupees 3 lakh 30,000 to D's capital account rupees 1 lakh 20,000 capital. To E's capital account, fresh capital of E's contribution is rupees 1,20,000 in the credit column. To premium for goodwill account, only contribution made by D, rupees 90,000. Being capital received from D and E and premium for goodwill received from D only, only from D. Then, premium for goodwill account debited rupees 90,000. C's capital account debited rupees 36,000 because C is gaining. Hence, C's capital account will be debited. And E's, E's capital account debited rupees 45,000. E, e is the new incoming partner and could not pay for goodwill. Hence, 45,000 will be debited. This capital account uh, will not be debited. He is paying cash. Hence, premium for goodwill account debited 90,000. C is gaining. C is capital account debited 36,000. E is coming for 112 share. So, E is definitely gaining. That is rupees 45,000 for 112 share. 
to A's capital account to B's capital account the ratio of sacrifice which is equal to 15 is to 4. That is rupees 1,35,000 and rupees 36,000. Being premium for goodwill received and not received transfer to partner's capital account in a sacrificing ratio. We have to total both debit and credit columns. And the totaling is rupees 5,1,000 both the columns debit and credit.